Hello everyone and welcome to your full moon reading. So we have a full moon upon us this Saturday, April 16th at 2.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a full moon in Libra and it, this is the first full moon of the new zodiac cycle. So as we discovered when we did the new moon in Aries two weeks ago, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac cycle. We have different rhythms and cycles within our world, and one of them is the zodiac cycle, the cycle of the stars in the night sky. There's all the constellations that revolve around in our night sky. And this new cycle begins in Aries. And so the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Libra. And this is the first full moon, the first lunation of this new zodiac cycle. And so I can't wait to share this new moon reading with you, this full moon reading with you. So this moon is called the pink moon and it got its name from the first wildflowers that begin to blossom into spring. And if you think about that, let's think about the color pink. Pink is associated with love, it's associated with spirituality, it's associated with the crown chakra, and it's also associated with seeing good in everything. Remember that phrase, to see the world with rose-colored glasses? It's to see the good in everything, and so the fact that this moon is called the Pink Moon, named after the first wildflowers that bloom in spring, it also has this association with love. Love is in the air in spring. Um, seeing the good in everything and connecting with our spiritual self. As our spiritual self begins to emerge into this world, we're stepping out of the winter the winter months where we go inward and we really um, get in touch with our inner self and our inner emotions. And now we're beginning to emerge, re-emerge into the world with this new life, this new perspective, and this new energy. And we're seeing pink. Lots of love, lots of spirituality, and seeing good all around us. This is the essence of this lunation. So other names that this full moon has, the Native Americans called it the breaking ice moon. So breaking ice, breaking down one state of being and emerging into another state of being. The Celtic called it the budding moon or the seeding moon, the growing moon, the new shoots moon. So they had lots of names for this moon that all revolve around this idea of growing something new, something new emerging. And so this is definitely the essence of this new moon, especially since it's the first full moon of a new zodiac cycle in Aries with that primal initiatory fire of creation. And it's the full moon in Libra. So let's take a look at what that means. What does that mean when the moon is in Libra? For those of you who have just joined us in this lunar club, we know that the moon is deeply connected and rules our innermost self. That is our innermost being at the core of who we are. The moon rules our emotional body and rules how we feel inside and how that inner self emerges out in the, in the outer world. And so the moon being in Libra, Libra represents our connection and relationship to our self and the different parts of who we are, right? There's so many different moving parts that make us who we are. There's different energies, different behaviors, different personalities, different circumstances that have shaped us into who we are, different behavior patterns, 
And so all these different parts of us create who we are. And so when the moon is in Libra, this is, this is a, um, an invitation to take a look at how are we in relationship to ourself and to the different parts of ourself. There are parts of ourselves that we like more than others. There are parts of ourselves that are work in progress. And so this is the time to reevaluate our relationship with ourself and our connection with ourself and all of ourselves, all of the different pieces and components and layers and dimensions that make us who we are. This is also rules how we relate to others in the world, right? We're not in, the, in this world alone. We're in this world in relationship with others. We're in this world in relationship with our family, our significant others, our friends, our community, our global community, near and far, um, new and old. And so we're constantly in this relationship with the world around us and others that are also relating in this world around us. And so the moon being in Libra is an invitation to take a look at how we are relating to others and how are we relating to the world around us. And so this is a beautiful time to get in touch with our relationships, our relationships with ourself, our relationships with others, and our relationship with the divine, with our higher self, with our divine self within, taking some time to really connect with our higher self, our true self. I make this a daily practice every single day, at least once a day. I connect with the divine self from within. We all are divine beings. We all have this divine connection within our being. It's not outside. It's not separate from us. It's not from someone else or something else. It comes from within. And that connection gets stronger the more we connect with that divine self from within. And so this full moon in Libra is an invitation to connect with our divine self, our true self, our higher self, however you want to call it, and to take a look at how are we relating to that part of ourself. Do we spend enough time building that relationship, nurturing and fostering that relationship to the divine within us? How are our relationships with ourself and the, those around us? This is a time to be strong and compassionate with ourselves and to be clear with who we are and who we came here to become. What is our life purpose? Who do we come here to become? And to be very clear and compassionate with ourselves on who we are and who we are becoming. And this is how we can move forward and learning how to relate and navigate our relationships with ourselves and others around us. And so every full moon in Libra offers us an opportunity to see ourselves and others. And this is a practice that I do very often in my personal life. You see, as you begin to awaken to new perspectives in the world, um, you begin to recognize and to see where others are maybe not doing their best or where others can be doing better. And when that comes up in your awareness, 
It's very easy to just judge that person. Oh, they're having a bad day, or they're just an angry person, or they're always grumpy, or this or that, and the other thing. So it's very easy to go into judgment. But one thing that um, I have made a practice of is I have this vision of seeing myself in other people. You know, I was once in an angry place. I was once very cranky. I have definitely not been my best self. We all have been there. And so when situations like that arise, I'm simply noticing an older version of myself in somebody else, right? Because we are all connected together. We're not living in this world alone. We do have an individuality but we are also in relationship to others, which connects us together. And so essentially, we are one in this experience of separateness and also togetherness. This is a world of duality. And so every full moon in Libra is an opportunity to see ourselves in others. And so this is an opportunity to get in touch with our compassion and um, to see the bigger picture, right? So often, I always use this analogy, we get stuck in this tunnel vision of what we have to do every single day. I got to go grocery shopping. I got to run errands. I got to get gas in the car. I got to make money. I got to pay the bills. I got to do this. I got to do that. The world and our life is moving so fast. It's crazy, and it's moving so fast, it, we forget to take a deep breath and take a look at the bigger picture. Take a look at our entire self, our life, our purpose, our cosmic self, and, and really take a step out of the daily life, the daily patterns and habits and behaviors that we have created for ourselves. And take a look at the big picture because when we open up our perspective into new places, into new visions, that is where spiritual breakthroughs come from. That is where we get new vision and new insights and we have new spiritual breakthroughs emerging within us. So we need to take a step out of the everyday, the, the routine, the, those behaviors, those patterns that we find ourselves stuck in, that rut that we stuck in. It's time to take a moment out. And that's why I love studying and working with the moon because she reminds us to do that each and every day. And if not every day, at least every new moon and full moon to really consciously get in touch with our self and our larger self, the cosmos, our cosmic self and our cosmic identity. And so, you know, this full moon reading is a lot less astrological than some of the readings that I have been doing lately because the message is so clear. There is a new earth being born. A new earth is emerging, not only in the world around us, the, new, the, the earth that we live on, that we call home, that collective experience that we are all navigating, but also a new earth within our being. And so when something new is emerging, we have to ask ourselves, what are we leaving behind? Right? It makes sense. We can't step into a new earth bringing the old earth with us. We can't bring our emotional baggage and our problems and our traumas with us. So what are we leaving behind? You know, I love this example of... Um, Closets, right? Many of you know me and my partner also have a business designing homes and businesses, um, interiors and exteriors. 
And uh, one of my partner's specialties is closets. He's been doing it in the corporate world for um, over 16 years. And so he is phenomenal at creating closets. And one of these days, I'm going to do a video of our closet because I think you guys would love it. Right? And if you think about a full closet, if you go out shopping and get some new clothes, you can't put the new clothes in an already full closet. You got to take some stuff out so that the new stuff can come in. And so as we are stepping into this new earth and this new being that we are becoming, we have to identify what are we leaving behind. So for this full moon, this is the time to get in touch with ourselves. What are we leaving behind? And what are we making room for to emerge within ourselves? Because a new earth doesn't emerge from the world around us as we may think or we may have been led to think or conditioned to think. The new earth emerges from within us. So it happens from within first. So this new earth is emerging within us. And in order for this new self to emerge, to create this new earth, we have to take inventory of what we are ready to leave behind. So that is our challenge for this new moon. and Or for this full moon, I'm sorry. And for the full moon reading, it is... A fiery climax is approaching, or a fiery climax approaches, which makes sense, right? The full moon is a climax, and when you reach a climax, then a new state happens, right? After a climax, we begin a new cycle. And so, for those of us who have been in the Lunar Club, our new moon wishes are growing, growing, and illuminating, and we're reaching a climax for all those things that we've been consciously creating for the past few weeks, months, and years. They're all manifesting. The moon teaches us that we can, we can be conscious creators. And that is the new earth that is emerging. We're no longer being shaped by the world around us. We are standing in our power and creating the world around us. We don't need an exterior authority to tell us what is what is being created in this world and just go along with it. We have the power, the strength, and the sovereignty, which are our birthrights, to create the world we want to live in. And it happens from within. And so a fiery climax... That initial primal fire of um, creation of Aries, this new cycle that we're in with the full moon in Libra, which is challenging us to take a look at how we're relating to ourselves and others and the world around us. As we step into this new world with this new fire, this primal fire of creation, this initiatory energy of Aries. And as we begin to renegotiate and reevaluate our relationships with ourselves and others and the world, we can then take inventory of what we want to leave behind as we step into this new earth. This new us that is emerging. The new wildflowers that are emerging in spring. We are in a spring in humanity. And we are bringing in this new earth from within. And so this full moon is guiding us on that journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full moon reading. And for those of you who are in the Lunar Club, stay tuned for my next video for a healing ritual to do that is specific for this full moon. And until next time, uh, for the new moon in Taurus on April 30th and a solar eclipse, which is going to be amazing. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I will see you then. 
Have a beautiful full moon and full moon rituals. And if you want to know what rituals to do for this full moon and learn more about the moon, sign up for the Lunar Club. I would love to have you and share all the beautiful insight and wisdom and magic that the moon offers us. God bless. I love you guys and have a beautiful full moon. Bye.